In round four, start with one chain stitch and then work 15 some crochets. Finally, end with one snip stitch. Work one chain stitch first. Yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. The chain stitch is to raise the height and will not be counted into a number of stitches. Then work one single crochet in each stitch. There will be 15 single crochets in total in this round. Mark the first single crochet. And continue to work single crochets in the same way. Finish a total of 15 single crochets in this round. Fifteen some crochets are down. Remove the marker. Insert the hook into the mark stitch. Yarn under the hook and pull up loop through the stitch. There are two loops on the hook. Then pull the first loop on the hook through the original one hook. Tighten up, that's one snip stitch. The snip stitch services as connection, it's not counted into a number of stitches. Run four is done. Stretch the loop and remove the hook. Cut off this yarn tail. Let's install the eyes. Make the side with snip stitches face backwards. We'll insert safety eyes between rows 2 and 3 of the head, spacing two eyes for stitches part.
turn the fabric and put on the safety back pieces. Two eyes are completed. Put the hook back into the loop and tighten the loop. We'll continue crocheting. Now we need to change to black yarn. In order to show the stitches more clearly, we will use other colored yarn instead of black yarn for demonstration. Please refer to the stitches ignoring the yarn's color. Cover yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. The yarn chain is down. Pattern up the yarns on the back. The yarn chain is down. One chain stitch is finished. The stitches for rounds 5 to 6 are the same. In rounds 5 to 6, work 1 chain stitch, 15 single crochets, and 1 slip stitch for each round. We have finished the 1 chain stitch during the yarn change. Then work once and crochet in each stitch. Put the yarn tails above the hook during crocheting. Finish 15 single crochets in total in this round. Mark the first single crochet. And continue to work single crochets in the same way. Finish a total of 15 single crochets in this round. For some crochets are down, cut off excess ends. Please finish the rest in the some crochets for yourself. Fifteen single crochets are done. Remove the marker and work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round five is done. Please finish round six in the same way as round five. Work one chain stitch, fifteen single crochets, and one slip stitch in turn.
Round six is done. Now we'll change to yellow yarn. Release the coffee yarn from fingers. Take out the yellow yarn. Wrap the yellow yarn around your finger. And then bring it up to index finger. Pinch the yarn tail and the fabric together with your thumb and finger. Yellow yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. Tighten up the yarns on the back. The yarn change is done. One chain stitch is finished. Please finish round 7 to 8 with yellow yarn on your own. Work one chain stitch, 15 single crochets, and one snip stitch for each round. Round 8 is done. Now we need to change the yarn. Release the yellow yarn. Take out the corresponding yarn. Wrap the yarn around your finger. And then bring it up to index finger. Pinch the yarn tail and the fabric together with your thumb and finger. Coffee yarn over the hook and put the yarn through the loop on the hook. The yarn change is done. Tighten up the yarns on the back. The yarn change is done. 